What up, what up, world? This is your favorite host, Decent, back with another episode of your favorite show, Pop Dust Presents, and we're joined by two of our new favorite people here to talk about their new song. Whoop, whoop. What's up? Favorite sound. sound. See, I was leading up to it. You favorite Sorry, sound. Right, right. It's called Favorite Did Sound. I give it away? Jump the gun. But, favorite sound. But, but, sound, that's my favorite. They said it's it all. Fave. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Audien. Clap, guys. Come Woo! on. There we go. There we go. Come on. And Sydney from Echo Smith. Thank you. Thank you. So, the song, Favorite Sound. Yes. Tell us a little bit, a little bit about it. But, yeah, it's our new song. Um, you know, it's, it's thankfully it's out, and that's awesome. It's been a long time. It's been a long road. For me, it's been a short road. For her, it's been a really long road because she had the idea, like, almost over a year ago. And then I heard it only two months ago, and I finished the song. So it was cool to have it done so quickly and out so quickly, which is always good. So Yeah, and it has a really good message, too, which I love, and I think Audien really appreciates, too. I think it's nice to have a message with your music, and that's kind of been our goal from the beginning, um, no matter what you're talking about. And this subject matter is a little... Um, darker than usual you know because we like to keep it light and positive and happy but it's also important in order to be truly happy to address the hard stuff too and that's what this song is kind of about awesome awesome hey man i'm gonna toss it to you man i got got definitely got a few questions for you guys Ooh, okay. so for, first question festival season is coming up where are you guys most excited to play i have an amazing festival that i'm playing this year that i totally can't announce yet but you know it, and you know this festival. But I'm playing another one uh, called Beyond Wonderland that's coming up. Nice. Um, Spring Awakening, right? Playing Spring Awakening. It's gonna be awesome. That's in Chicago, which is like just one of my favorite places to play. I also just love Chicago. Um, S Sunset Music Festival in Tampa. We're always adding festivals. Just just go around. You'll you'll find me somewhere. Awesome. Yeah, and we're um, focusing on finishing <laughs> my mic stand, um, on finishing our album right now. So we uh, are still doing shows when we can, but we're just mainly in the studio every day. So we're very, very close. So we need to like stay on track. So I don't know about festivals this year quite yet. Um, also, I never remember what shows we're playing. I know we have six <laughs> shows coming up in the next like two months, but um, don't know what they are. Uh, so echosmith.com can tell you everything but hopefully more festivals next year as we have everything out any chance our viewers can catch you down in miami in miami oh. i think this guy has so answer. yeah so that's a very dancey thing to say because I don't you know understand what's going on. okay so every year like during ultra music festival which i played last year i'm not playing it this year but um, during that whole week, there's a ton of amazing like little pop-up shows and stuff. It's like a cultural dance music thing. Can you guys speak about any other collaborations you guys are doing with other artists? Probably two or three more coming this year, possibly. But I'm really excited about this one. Outside of collaborations, which artists do you guys love working with time and time again? For me, like, I could say in general, I like working with like Above and Beyond's label and Juno yeah, Beats. Arjuna. Which is, I'm sure, a segue to your. I don't know. You said you wanted to mention something, but like Andrew Nabitz is like family to me, and I'm doing a bunch of shows with them this year. Nice. I guess that would tie into the festival stuff because I'm playing a bunch of Andrew Nabitz centric shows. Cool. So, gonna be cool. So, spe speaking of Anjuna, you dropped higher and you dropped that on my birthday. Oh, July dude! 13th. How yeah. special! I love that. Yeah. It's great. July thirteenth. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Very cool. I have it every year. Every year, yeah? yeah. You didn't skip one, huh? Happy early or late, depending on how you see it. Thank you. Um, could, could you talk to us a little bit about your Anjuna collaboration? What do you love most about working with the Anjuna family? That's just like a, it's, it's what it is, it's a family, you know? It's like the fan base and just like the whole culture of Anjuna Beats is all about like positivity and just like, you know, what Above and Beyond is created is just like this nice, warm, like feel good presence and it definitely extends into the label. So yeah. like when you hear an Anjuna song, like you know it's an Anjuna song. Yep. And that's what Hire is. It's like truly an Anjuna song. That's why I was really stoked that they dug it, wanted to release it. And uh, yeah, it's been really good in the sets. So yeah. I'm really stoked. Awesome. Yeah. So with this being somewhat <laughs> of a, I don't want to say a new frontier with, you know, teaming up with Audio, what's the 
what's the vibe what's the energy been like between you two as far as being able to put this on together so quickly like you stated what are some of the aspirations and goals you have for your collaboration yeah i mean collaborations are so much obviously about collaborating i think a lot of people forget that it sounds so basic um but there's a lot of people out there who are too precious with their ideas or they're too insistent on doing it their way, but the whole point is to work together. So um, I think that's why it worked out so well with us because um, first of all, we were on the same page creatively without even probably realizing it um, until he sent the track and I was like, love it, sounds great. I don't even know if we had any notes. Um, so it's pretty cool when you get to be just creatively on the same page, because that doesn't always happen, you know, and there's so many people who have creative differences that it never works out, or you try to do a collab, or, you know, whatever. Um, so I think it just works out when you have the same mindset and you want the same goals, and we both want this song to do great, and for a lot of people to hear it, you know, because it means something to both of us for a bunch of different reasons. So um, I guess my general goal is just to um, make sure that everyone, each artist is heard and the boys, my brothers and Echo Smith, they're also on the track too, which is really cool because that doesn't always happen with um, a DJ collab. So yeah. I mean, what you said, the cool thing is, is that we <laughs> just like, yeah, what you said, you said it all. We actually just met for the first time yesterday, which is interesting because like usually a lot of people like get in the studio and like, they do all this like in-person stuff, but like I made the song like on a plane, pretty much, like four plane rides, and the song was like done, which is cool. Which is not normal, by the way, everyone. It's not normal, <laughs> but like when it comes together that quickly, like you know it's good, and you know that it, like there was no roadblocks. So maybe that's why they didn't have that many notes, and they didn't want to change too much because it was just like so done when I sent it. And it was so good. It, it, it came together. Because Thank I you. Killed it so well. Well, she killed it. I mean, the vocals are just spot on. Yeah. So. Besides they weren't like re-sung or anything. This is like the original vocals. And yeah, we Didn't all know all the best anything. music are made on buses anyway. So the fact that you made this on a plane makes you a pioneer of sorts, right? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm waiting to hear like about the most interesting place that people have made music. Like I made this in a porta potty like at Coachella, <laughs> oh, not you know? Time in there. <laughs> I think that's actually how Thriller got made, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah. Well, something tells <laughs> yeah, me that's not true. Scary, could be wrong. Yeah, you could be wrong. Uh, really? Uh, so it on Wiki. <laughs> I'm going to Wiki that. Wikipedia is always right. The internet never lies. No, never, it doesn't. ever, Facts. ever. <laughs> the both of you at this point in your careers, you know, you guys started out very, very young. But for the most part, I feel like you guys have cultivated this huge fan base and this huge name for yourselves. What's it like to kind of be in the position now to kind of set the tone and dictate the tempo when it comes to not just your music, but music in general? Um... I mean, I think it's obviously a very special place to be in, and it doesn't happen for everyone, so I'm really grateful to be able to not have to get, like, a normal job. Um, that's always been my goal, you know, to be able to always do music. Um, so the fact that I even get to say that is amazing, and I'm really excited about it, and still am. You just made am. me very sad, because I realizing that was you, my you dream. You have a cool <laughs> job. Do I really? This is my fallback. This is fun. <laughs> This was my fallback. It was either this or work at Burger King, and they would not take me. Honestly, Burger King, though, like the Western burger is pretty good. And if you got that for free every day, that'd be kind of cool, too. You can find the positive in everything. I'm pretty sure I could, but yeah, this is my fallback. But you're doing great, and you're wearing yellow, and you're awesome. So I like your fallback. Thanks, I Sydney. vote yes. So normally, with you know working with another artist you tend to take a piece of what you've learned about them as people and as far as you know how they work and do you guys feel like going forward you know you jumping back into your respective worlds after this that you'll be able to take some of the energy and some of the vibes that you've experienced and bring it back to kind of help further your sound yeah i mean like 100 percent. i mean i'm just learning like how valuable like live elements are like, just working on this song, I ended up using a lot of the original, like, guitars and bass and drums from, like, their demo. So it was, like, it made me learn that, like, use a lot of live and real stuff because it adds a human element to the song. So that's that's my, like, whole producer nerd takeaway. But, yeah. yeah. You've taught me a lot in the past couple days. I mean, in general, obviously, the song has taught me a lot because it just is such a different structure and just there's so many different things about this song that we did and what you do in general um, that I can really learn from, like the energy of it and the climax and the drop. I just learned what the drop was yeah. yesterday. So I feel very educated now in DJ world and the whole like, weren't you doing this with your hand or something? Or was it this way? It's know. not down, it's out. <laughs> it's like rubbing the table. Yeah, so cleaning. 
Yeah, Are you a cleaner? Just like a wax, wax on, just wax like off. Washing the windows. Anyway, I've learned a lot from you musically and also my terminology is just. You got the drop in you now. The drop. Well, I drop stuff all the time, but I think it's a different meaning. She's an EDM Oh, shoot. She dropped her phone. I drop my phone daily. You ready for the drop? And a crack screen, yeah. Not as, <laughs> it's not as cool of a result as, you know, your drop, where it goes like... A drop. a drop is a drop. That should yeah. be on a t-shirt. A drop is a drop. Ooh, drip, drip. Gucci. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Is there any closing words that you would love to give your viewing public? I've said enough. Thank you. Favorite sounds out. It's, made, yes. it's the best song you'll, you'll ever hear, ever, Enjoy maybe. Enjoy it. I hope it becomes your favorite. Or your favorite. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> it's a good song. I think you'll like it. Yes, Check it out. Guys. We'll see you soon. Awesome. Well, guys, this has been another edition of Pop Dust Presents. I want to thank all the inner city for stopping by. Make sure you get Favorite Sound, which is out now. Special thanks to Heyman for dropping by, asking whoop, some really whoop, dope whoop. questions. I am decent. Yes. Make sure you guys Woo. visit our website, popdust.com. Make sure you visit us on all social media at Popdust. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. Make sure you hit that little bell to be notified of brand new content, and we will see you soon. How Peace. Is this your You're amazing. <laughs> that was great. Yes, good job. <laughs> <laughs>